Hello everyone. Today let's take a look at the latest Windows 11 September 2025 update. Version 24H2 with cumulative update KB5065426. This page Tuesday update was released on September 9th, 2025. Keep in mind that Microsoft usually rolls out new features and big changes gradually. So it may take a little time before these improvements shows up on your device. This is the cumulative update for Windows 11 version 24H2 x64 based systems. After installing, your build number becomes 26100.6584 or 26200.6584 for some users. Now let's restart the laptop and see how much of changes we have got. After restarting my laptop, let's go ahead and confirm the Windows 11 version 24H2 OS build 2600.6584 KB5065426 successfully installed. The notification center now shows a full clock. You can even enable seconds for a quick time checks. The file explorer gets more better in Windows 11 24H2 September page. Notice that new divider under quick actions and improved previews. Microsoft has added more options for lock screen widgets, which are more customizable. You could add or rearrange widgets from the settings. Windows Hello got a polish sign-in animation that feels a lot smoother. It's quick, easy, and communicates that you are being signed into your Windows machine. The Windows search now shows image results in a grid for easier browsing. That makes you easy to find images more accurately. Task Manager's CPU matrix are redefined for more consistent readings across the tabs and also the CPU usage report are updating live now. You will also find new AI privacy controls showing which app requested text and image generation. This September updates also come with a series of important fixes and quality improvements carried forward from August release. Let's quickly go through the highlights. Microsoft fixed an issue where non-admin users were getting unexpected USC control prompts when MSI installer performed custom actions like repair or configuration changes. This bug affected apps such as Office Professional Plus 2010 and Autodesk tools like AutoCAD. With this update, those apps now run smoothly without unnecessary USC interruption. Auditing for SMB client compatibility with SMB server signing and EPA is now enabled. This helps IT admin to assess their environments and detect potential device or software compatibility issue before deploying stricter security policy. The update also resolves a problem where some application stops responding to certain input methods. And it's also restored missing IIS module in IIS manager so administrators can once again configure IIS properly. And the last for creators, there is a major fix to audio performance in apps using the network device interface or NDI. Previously, if you use OBS Studio with display capture turned on, audio could stutter or break up. This patch smooths out that issue. A big win for streamers and broadcasters. So that's the wrap up. What's new in KB5065426 for Windows 11 and what are the fixes? Remember, Microsoft often roll out new features gradually. If you don't see all the changes right away, don't worry. They will appear on your device in the coming weeks. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and drop a comment if you want me to cover any feature in more detail.